Hi there, it's Deja from CrochetEverAfter.com, and now we're moving on to single crochet into the last stitch of your row. Alright, now that we are moving on to how to single crochet into the last stitch of your row, I have a swatch here of 13 single crochets across, and I encourage beginners to always start with small projects that have small number of stitches. That way, after each row, you can count how many stitches you made. Because believe it or not, once you get going, you end up missing stitches or adding stitches very easily. So we're going to complete this row and count our stitches to make sure that we still have 13. But to begin our last stitch of the row, I want to first show you what our loops look like. It actually looks like we have two stitches left because we have two V's that are still here at the end. This is what confuses people a lot. But if we remember that when we were working our single crochets this way, what we do at the beginning of every single row is we chain one. So what we're seeing here is our chain one and then our first single crochet, which translates into our last single crochet of this row. So if it's hard to see where to place your hook you can always kind of pull on the stitch to make the space a little bigger so it makes it much easier to see. And always if you're not sure stop and look at your hook. When you insert your hook you should have two loops on your hook which is the V stitch. And then you're going to yarn over or as I always say, lay over, because this first one is more of a laying over than a yarn over. Pull up the loop, yarn over again, and finish your single crochet. Now sometimes it looks a little funny. It looks like it's almost missing a stitch. But as you work, you'll see that the ends of your swatch will kind of wave in and out. They kind of get this little um, indentation as you go up. And if you're working a scarf, if you want to make that nice straight edge, what well, you can do is single crochet around the entire scarf on the outside. And that'll make a nice straight edge for you. So let's count our stitches and make sure that we have 13. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So always, if you're beginning, and you can't visually tell if you have enough stitches or you have too many, count your V's on top before you begin your next row. And that will keep your project completely straight along your edges. If you see your project starting to go in or out, you've probably lost a stitch somewhere or added a stitch. So that's a good tip to remember. So we'll do it one more time so you can see that space that we need to insert it into. Always, if you need help, pull on the stitch, find the hole, or look for the V on top. Insert your hook. Make sure you have both loops. That'll become very easy for you once you practice enough. Yarn over, pull up the loop, yarn over, and finish your single crochet. That's how you single crochet in the end of your row.